Louis Broussard, Reverend William R. Larson. Forty years after the worst mass murder of gays in the nation, a memorial honors the 32 people who died in an arson that blazed for less than half an hour. They were trapped by fire in a stairwell that's still charred with evidence of the fire and behind bars on windows. There was a lot of shame around this event. And people here spoke out against the way the community responded with indifference, even hostility. Talk show radio hosts joked about burying the remains in fruit jars. Political leaders made no public statements of sympathy or condolence. Families had trouble finding churches to bury loved ones. It was a slap in the face of all of the victims and their families. Jamie Warren lost a grandmother and two uncles in the fire. He and others here say the memorial marks a rebirth, like a flower blooming with deeper understanding. We wouldn't be here in fellowship and celebrating their lives if the evolution of thought hadn't taken place. Today, Mayor Landrew issued a proclamation honoring the victims of the upstairs lounge fire. People here say the victims of this fire are finally being honored without a sense of shame. We're all made of one God, and we all are his children. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see.